Benchy time. See what it does. I haven't printed one of these in a while. Cross gantry. Benchy. This is set for nine minutes. Might be ten. Might be eight. I don't know. Using the octo duct. Two pointing out. Six pointing in. Using a 50-15 fan. Mosquito hot end with a CHT. ABS filament. This is probably going to be pushing it a little bit on flow. We'll see. About 45,000 acceleration. Now the speed varies from 450 down to 300, I think is the minimum. Acceleration from 20 to 45. Jerks 45 from 20 to 45. This has got some variable stuff in there. I'm going to try to make it a good looking benchy. can, I don't know. Go try it. Now here's some crunching. So the temp body needs to come up a little bit. But the plastic looks pretty decent. Not too bad. Can't really go past about seven minutes. Kind of a bottleneck right around 500 millimeters a second at about 50,000 acceleration. It's going to skip steps. So I'm kind of capped to 500 at 500 millimeters a second at, at 45,000. Uh, need some different motors to get a little bit more out of there. Or just go to something like the Tyco, stick eight motors on here. Pretty crazy. It's probably going to be about ten minutes. It's really not noisy. Not too bad. What do you think? It's okay, it's done better. We'll find out here at the end. See how jacked up it is. bit of ringing. Looks like the temperature could be a little higher. It's running 285 right now. I think it could take a bit more.
think it needs a little more heat. Two ninety. Man, that sure is crisp. It might be 10 minutes, I don't know. It's eight minutes so far. camera in here all right get it off the plate All right, so we we have a little problem here, Houston. Look, turn that fan on too early. Cooling is pretty good here. We do have some lines here. A little bit of little bit of problem there. It's pretty smooth, but see you hear it cracking. Temperature doesn't crack here. This is good. But down here, this wasn't enough temperature. It doesn't crack too bad. I've had it worse than that. The stack is... The stack is pretty nice. Top is very good. But you can see it's under extruded a little bit there on the top. Little bit. You can see it in here. Need a little bit more. Top surface here is... Dynamite. And that is really, really really good the detail here is pretty nice look you can even see you got the seam here but you can actually let me see here let me pull this camera out of the little holster here okay looky here Boy, the layers, they look pretty decent there. You can read some of the benchy on there. The back is clean. The top, like I said, has got a little, could use a little more flow there, but it's just hauling ass, so it's probably not extruding 100%. It's probably missing a little bit. The, the, hull, the, the lines here, and the cabin are very good. I give that a very good there. Very good on the back. Stack is phenomenal. Top low flow. 
There's a little bit of dip here. A little bit here, not much. The little steering wheel is just gorgeous. But really, I could do this again and just bump that temp up and wait to turn that fan on about four, five, six more layers and this won't happen. Now let's look on the inside. This is how you repair the bottom of the boat. You get a leak. Go in there and do some... You can see it's too cold. Too much fan right away. Flows a little low on the bottom. Ringing is really not bad at all. There's a little bit right here. Needs a little more temp. So this was between, I don't know, three and 450 millimeters a second. A little ringing right here. A little bit. 45,000 acceleration. Anyway, from 20 to 45,000. Jerk was anywhere between 40 and 45. Well, that's it. Another failure.